What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we can easily get God Rays in Unreal Engine 5. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So to get started, I'm actually going to use a project file from a project that I previously did. If you go to my YouTube channel and just scroll down, you can see I'm going to use this one from the book of Boba Fett. I did this for Loompad. So I'm going to use this scene in particular to show you guys how we can get God Rays into our scene. Okay, so right here we have Unreal Engine 5. You can see Bubba Fat. This is me, Mo Capped as Bubba Fat sitting inside the throne room. If I go through here into my sequencer and kind of just let this play through, you can just see that, you know, sit down on the throne room, lean forward a little bit, etc., etc. And I know a couple of people asked me how I got the atmospheric lighting in here, and I figured I'll take it one step further and show you guys how I built out this scene to take full advantage of bringing God Rays into it. So if I actually eject my camera, and just pull back a little bit you can see the throne room is really really simple and so the way that god rays work you're going to need something that's going to kind of block the light so that we can actually get the rays into the scene and so i built out this very simple scene here with a lot of slits in there and a lot of slits in the back so whenever i built out my scene and i wanted to have the lighting come through and actually see those god rays be visible i was able to achieve that by building out my scene like this but also if you do like four scenes or something like that the trees and the leaves and the branches are also good for bringing the god rays into your scene so let me scroll back in here a little bit and I'm actually going to just start from scratch. So over here in my world outliner, I'm going to delete all my lighting stuff. So my fog, my, I'm going to leave post price volume in here, but I'm just going to delete all the volume stuff, but I'm just going to delete all the lighting stuff. So I'm going to hit delete on that, take this out as well. And I'm going to turn off my post price volume for right now. So the next step from here, I want to bring in the environmental light mixture, which is new to Unreal Engine 5, I believe. And it's a really cool way for building out your scene from scratch with lighting effects. And so to do that, I'm going to come up here to window and I'm going to come down here to environmental light mixture. Click on this and this is going to bring up this panel here. And so what I'm going to do is actually just start clicking through these and these are going to add it into our scene. So let me actually scroll this over here a little bit so we can see inside of our outliner as stuff is being brought in like so. So I'm going to start off with my skylight and you can see right here, my outliner, it added a skylight, create atmospheric light like so. I'm going to skip this one right here. I don't need a second one in there, but I'm going to create sky atmosphere, create volumetric cloud, and then create height fog. And so this is where a dual monitor will help out a lot, <laughs> you know, so, but you can see it doesn't have all the attributes, only basically the ones that we would need to create some really good lighting in here. And so if I actually make this a little bit smaller, like so, we can see that we have some of the light slits starting to come through, but let me actually come down here and change out my volumetric fog. So I'm just going to scroll down until I come to my exponential height fog, which is right here. So I want to click on volumetric fog like so. And you can see automatically we're starting to get a god ray in here and if i actually bring up my fog density to like one now you can see that we have some god rays in here it's really really exaggerated but i just want to do that for the demonstration to show you guys that's how easy it is to bring in the god rays and then from here it's just about you know messing with the attributes and polishing it out so i'm going to come back down here the fog density maybe do something around like 0.5 and i'm actually going to exit this out and the next step from here is actually I'm going to use my mouse as like a sundial to be able to direct the lighting if I want my rays to come into my room. So in order to do that, I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard and then I'm going to hold down the L key and then I'm just going to move my mouse around and you should see a sundial come up into your viewport. And so you want to make sure that you just have something selected in your viewport so it's activated. And again, I'm going to hold down control hold down the L key and now we see like we have this little sundial inside of our viewport here and all I'm going to do is move my mouse and you can see that we have the volumetric lighting and everything taking full effect in here which is really really cool and so I like using this technique just to kind of get in get some basic lighting in get the mood for my scene and everything the way that I want it and then I might go add some lights later on but this is basically how we get the light rays into our scene so if I come back over to where I have my post price volume. I'm actually going to turn this on and it's nothing too crazy in here. And my post price volume, if I scroll down, I have bloom turned on with convolution. Then if I scroll down here to exposure, you can see that I have exposure compensation at zero and then my min EV 100, both set to one. But if I wanted to, I could just turn this up a little bit if I wanted to change the height exposure. It didn't actually let me look through my camera so I could get a better sense of how my scene is looking. 
and again select something in my viewport hold down control hit l and now you can see how we have the light rays coming through into our scene so now that we know how to bring the god rays into our scene let's mess around with some of the attributes inside of our directional lighting to get some better effects and so let's say that i'm happy with like how moody this is right here so if i have my directional light selected and i actually scroll up in my scene right here where it says indirect lighting intensity if you turn this up we're starting to get some effects in here you can see my scene starting to bright up and then if i want to actually scatter some of that volumetric lighting all you have to do is move this up as well and we're starting to enhance that effect as well and again click something inside of my scene here Control l and just mess with the lighting so this is just a really basic tutorial on how to get set up again just as a reminder I usually go up to the window, come down to environmental light mixture and just start adding them in and just start playing with the attributes from there. So hopefully this tip for getting God rays into your scene you find is helpful and it will get you started to bring in some really atmospheric effects to your environment. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If it did, make sure you leave me a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. i see you soon. Take care. Bush here.